Monica. I work for both the payroll and the benefits department for Cal Poly Pomona. For payroll, my focus is on FEMA spreadsheets related to COVID-19 related activities. And for benefits, I work with CalPERS doing the dependent eligibility verification process, as well as anything from COBRAs to retirement. My name is Andres Munoz. I work for the Talent Acquisition Department as well as the Organizational Development Department. And in my role, I assist the Talent Acquisition Department with recruitments and the process of hiring new employees into Cal Poly Pomona. And in the Organizational Development Department, I help out with any new projects they, they have going on. Uh, so that may include making job aids for LinkedIn Learning or other websites that we use, uh, making presentations accessible, or creating surveys. So hi, my name is Carly Zamora. I'm an admin trainee for payroll and the customer service center. So um, as an admin trainee for both departments, I'm um, working for both. So as of right now for the customer service, I'm helping with the virtual onboarding of student assistants. And as for payroll, I'm just assisting in um, any payroll procedures and processes that uh, need some help with along or through this COVID journey. And yeah. Hi, my name is Miguel Norute, and I am also a Temporary Emergency for Organizational Development, or OD for short. My job consists of creating and publishing websites, as well as working with others, as well as working with Andres on making documents and presentations accessible, to, not just for OD, but for other departments within EOD. Lastly, I'm also helping out the Instagram team by creating meetings and publishing posts, so make sure to follow us on Instagram, at CEP EOD8, for amazing future content. My journey started on Handshake. I applied as a student assistant. After receiving the position, I was working part-time along with juggling six classes full-time at Cal Poly Pomona. The transition from student into full-time employee was very smooth. We were all given remote workstations because of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, business is still conducted as usual. Regarding the work that I do, I love assisting both the payroll and benefits department. I would like to think of myself as a people person Reaching out to different individuals and making new connections is something I enjoy. The transition from being a student to employee regarding work is relatively the same. However, it's more in depth. So I started off as an intern at the HR department and I was a junior at Cal Poly. I received an email from the head of my department notifying me that the HR department was looking for interns. So I applied, um, they called me back for an interview. And once I interviewed, I was lucky enough to be offered the position. So in my first semester as an intern, I worked in the customer service center uh, where I greeted customers who walked in with any HR related inquiries. Um, and working at, this, at the customer service center gave me experience in many different areas of HR, uh, such as employment, benefits, labor relations. So I think that was a really valuable experience for me. And then in my second semester, I worked with the employment department, which is now called the talent acquisition department. Um, and in this role, I started doing many of the tasks that I still do today. And then after my internship ended, they gave me a position as a student assistant, uh, where again, I would help out the customer service center and employment. So they gave me more responsibilities as I, as I went on. And then once I graduated, they offered me this job, this job that I have currently working as a full-time administrative trainee. Um, and in this role, I work both with talent acquisition and organizational development. And something I really enjoy about the work I currently do is that um, it's very team oriented. We have a very team oriented approach to our work. Um, and we're always encouraged to find new creative solutions to be more efficient. And this creative side of my work is something that I didn't really expect to learn in my role. Um, Cause when you think of HR, you normally think of a lot of paperwork, which there is, uh, but the creative side of this department is something that really surprised me and something that I'm really proud of. Hi, so similar to Monica, I started off as a student assistant. Um, I heard about the position, um, I applied on Handshake, and I was really nervous because I'd never done anything like this before. And um, I met with Lori, I came into the office, and she was so welcoming, and I immediately just felt at home and just comfortable. And as I said, I started off as a student assistant. I was a student assistant for about a year and a half. And so my tasks were just basic duties, scanning, um, filing, things of that nature. And as my time with Cal Poly grew, I wanted to learn more about the customer service center since that is where I was uh, a student assistant. That's where I was located. And so, um, yeah, that's basically how I became um, 
an admin trainee. I was a student assistant for that year and a half, and then I was able to learn more about customer service. And then when it came time to graduation, I heard about this um, admin trainee position, and I applied, and now I'm working for payroll and customer service. So I wasn't really expecting to learn as much as I have in this. Um, I'm going on my six months right now. So I think just Something I enjoy about this position, you know, working for both departments is learning as much as I have and like that continuous growth. And every day it's something new and every day I can, you know, I'm comfortable enough to ask the people I work with, hey, what can I be trained on? What do you need help with? And they have been so welcoming to me and uh, teaching me and training me. So, yeah. So how I came to learn about this internship opportunity was through Handshake. At the time, I was working for the Office of Student Life and Cultural Centers and really enjoyed working with them and helping out the, while helping out the campus community. So when I learned about this internship opportunity, I quickly applied as I knew it would not only further my HR growth, but would also help out the campus. After getting the position, I came to learn just how big the team was. What I loved about working at EODA is just how friendly and helping they are to, to one another, not just within the group, but with, with everyone else who also worked in the same office space. Lastly, there is always a new project to work on not only that furthers my HR growth, but also taps into my strong suits as well. I'm grateful to be able to help EODA now as a full-time employee. <clears throat> I chose HR because it's an essential department in the business world. People are an asset to any organization. Without them, work can't be done. The HR department is responsible for recruiting, hiring, firing, and most importantly, retaining. There will always be a need for HR. The impact I want to make on the HR field is as far away as possible from being labeled as Toby from the office. I understand that HR deals with the nitty gritty aspects of individuals, whether it's benefits, leave of absence, injuries, workers comp. No matter what circumstance, I want to make employees feel welcomed and enjoy their time in the HR department. I chose HR as a profession because first of all, I wanted to help people. Um, and I felt like HR would be a good way to help employees achieve and get the best of their capabilities. Um, I also like the people aspect of HR, um, where even though there is a lot of paperwork, there's also a lot of uh, communication and you have to be always communicating with different areas of the company or organization you work for. And then finally, I also wanted to be a part of the recruiting process because I feel um, onboarding new employees is always an exciting and rewarding experience. I chose HR because I really love the idea of helping people and unfortunately HR has kind of like a negative connotation. Yeah, so when people think of HR, they think of it in a negative light, like OHR. But I don't necessarily agree with that because I think HR could be very beneficial and which is why every company has an HR department. And me being a part of the customer service centers, I love being the first, you know, one of the first people that um, an employee sees when they come into our department and I want to give them that you know welcoming personality and show them that you know they could be comfortable here and I think that's why I love HR so much is just you know being able to like just be helpful. The reason I chose to pursue HR is because it is in my nature to help others as my previous jobs were based on working with others while helping them achieve their goals. So after taking some introductory courses business courses, I found that HR resonated with me the most. How I wish to one day contribute to HR world is by one day being able to teach a course or seminar for other HR professionals and or students in order to help them in their careers. Yeah.